People are asking, will China invade Taiwan? What you're seeing is China doing military exercises near to the island of Taiwan, which as you can see is pretty close to China itself. So why is China doing all of this now? Well, it's all about history. Let me break it down for you. All the way back in the 17th century, Taiwan was under Chinese control. But in 1895, China gave up the island to Japan after losing it in a war. And China took the island back in 1945 after Japan lost the Second World War. But after that, a civil war erupted in mainland China against the nationalist government and the Communist Party. The communists won the civil war in 1949 and took control in Beijing. And what was left of the Nationalist Party ran away from mainland China to Taiwan. That's where they ruled separately for several decades. But only a few countries recognize Taiwan as an independent country. Basically, China sees Taiwan as a breakaway province that they want back. Taiwan sees itself as its own country with its own rules and its own democratically elected leaders. But the beef really amped up this week when a senior US politician visited Taiwan. It's the first such visit in 25 years. China was pretty upset about it because it shows the international support of Taiwan, which is already quite well armed with Western weapons. So China responded by announcing four days of military exercises with artillery fire in waters around Taiwan. But do these exercises mean that President Xi is thinking about attacking Taiwan? Well, attacking Taiwan, an island like Taiwan, would be a hugely complicated and costly operation in terms of the hardware required and the potential lives lost. The Communist Party has made no disguise of the fact that what we will see in the waters behind me will be a full-scale rehearsal for reunification by force. Whether they're ready for war, we will only know that for sure when they decide the day has come.